Get out of its way. Don't play games with it. It's a big one. While those in Hurricane Florence's path are stocking up on necessities, companies around the country are gearing up to help in the storm's wake. Supply store giants Home Depot and Lowe's have both activated hurricane command centers to make sure area stores are well stocked before and after. I want to hammer that importance home. This is not going to be a glancing blow. This is not going to be a tropical storm. This is not going to be, uh, you know, one of those storms that, that, that uh, hit and, and move out out to sea. This is going to be, you know, a Mike Tyson punch to the Carolina coast. Electric companies from all over, including this one in Arizona, are sending linemen and equipment to help restore power after the storm. Loss of power and no access to medical supplies can mean life or death for those who survived the storm but are stuck in its aftermath. So the concern is about people who are very young or very old, who don't have much money or access to transportation, who do not speak the predominant language and don't have access to information. Direct Relief, an aid organization in California, is sending crates of medical supplies to help with that burden. But the most important thing, officials say, is that residents are heeding their warnings and leaving. Time to act is now. The power will come back on, roads will be uh, repaired, uh, but we cannot repair loss of life. In Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina, I'm Omar Jimenez.